Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here. Samsung has finally confirmed Note 21 series. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. We're already looking ahead to the Samsung Galaxy Note 21, the brand's big end-of-year phone. We have pretty leaks about the Samsung Galaxy Note 21 yet, but there are already some leaks and rumors circling around. When the Galaxy S21 stops being the hot topic, you can bet speculation will ramp up about the Note phone it still feels uncertain if the Note 21 will happen at all, given the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra launched with S Pen support, while the company didn't hint at whether a Note 21 would be coming during its March unpacked event, it's hard to imagine a full year without another Samsung flagship phone the Samsung Galaxy Note 21 is set to be an upgrade to the Galaxy Note 20, and the latest of the Note series though some people think Samsung is planning to kill off this stylus toting range of phones, so it could end up being the last of its kind we can expect to see whatever choices Samsung makes for the Galaxy S21 to be reflected in the Note 21 2 in the meantime, we've also included a wish list of the things we want to see from the Samsung Galaxy Note 21, along with educated guesses as to the likely release date and price the main leaks surrounding the Samsung Galaxy Note 21 are simply whether or not it will even launch, it's been rumored that Samsung is looking to ditch. The range and just focus on the Galaxy S range and the new Galaxy Z Fold range at the high end with the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra launching with Stylus Supper and the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 rumored to be doing the same, there's certainly evidence for that, as now that most of Samsung's premium phones have big screens it's mostly just the stylus that helps the Note stand out, so adding it to the S range leaves less reason for the Note range to exist if Samsung really is phasing out the range it. Looks as though there's a chance we might at least get a Samsung Galaxy Note 21 before that happens industry sources have apparently said the same, adding that there's supposedly only going to be one Galaxy Note 21 model though so we might not see a Samsung Galaxy Note 21 Ultra. Samsung official that the S Pen will be added to the Z Fold 3 in Galaxy S21 Ultra which has since launched with said support with the Note range then set to be discontinued, three sources speaking to Reuters also claim. That there won't be a new Galaxy Note in 2021 so right now we're really not certain, but we'd think there's a good chance there will be at least one more Note, and assuming the Samsung Galaxy Note 21 is in the works, we can take a good guess at when it will launch. With August 2021 being very likely in recent years Samsung has always announced new Note models in early August and shipped them roughly two weeks later. So the same again is likely for the Note 21 the price is slightly harder to guesses that does change year to year, but the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 started at $999 so we'd expect the Samsung Galaxy Note 21 will cost at least that much Samsung Galaxy Note 21 leaks yet, but we can be confident of some things. For example, the phone is sure to support and come with an S Pen stylus, since that's the main selling point of the range there will also probably be multiple models, with a Samsung Galaxy Note 21 Ultra, or plus likely joining the standard model the range is also likely to have top-end power, with US users probably getting the top Qualcomm chipset of the time likely the Snapdragon 888 or 888 Plus, and most other regions probably getting the top Samsung Exynos 2100 chipset we've been hearing. Samsung is readying an under-display camera for its smartphones, and it could come in the Galaxy Note 21 in Korea the company trademarked the marketing name under panel camera, or UPC making it seem imminent Samsung typically packs different chipsets into its Note phones for different regions, with the US getting a Snapdragon 1. While the UK and much of the rest of the world gets an Exynos 1 the problem with this is that the two chipsets are never equal, so one version of the phone is usually better than the other in recent years it's. If Samsung does launch a Note 21 and Note 21 Ultra, or just one, however we'd expect the device or devices to take some design details from the Galaxy S21 series, like the camera housing that flows into the frame we'd also expect a waterproof metal frame sandwiched between glass panels and some interesting finishes too. An under-display fingerprint sensor is likely, and one thing is for sure, there will be a built-in S Pen there's also a couple of murmurs to suggest we might see an under-display front camera, which would mean no punch hole camera with Samsung offering an adaptive 120Hz refresh rate display on all the Galaxy S21 models, it's likely the Note 21 models would have this too, along with support for HDR10 Plus there are no leaks on sizes as yet, but we'd expect similar to the Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra if there are two models the Note 20 has a flat display with a full HD Plus resolution, while the Note 20 Ultra has a curved display with a quad HD Plus resolution, we wouldn't be surprised to see just one model of the Note 21 this year.
With a flat display to keep costs down and therefore an option under the Galaxy S21 Ultra with an S Pen there haven't been specific rumors surrounding the Note 21 cameras as yet, other than the suggestion that there may be an under-display front camera. We'd expect improvements on the Galaxy S21 series however at least in terms of features. We wouldn't be surprised to see a similar respective loadout in terms of hardware to the S21 and S21 Ultra though. Tended to be the Snapdragon 1, so we'd like all models of the Samsung Galaxy Note 21 to use whatever the best Snapdragon chipset is at the time, but we'd even take them all using Exynos mostly the Galaxy Note May 21st be sharing its once unique S Pen support with the Galaxy S21, and maybe even the Galaxy Z Fold 3, but it might be set to roll out with a brand new feature that'll be a first for any Samsung smartphone and under-display camera UDC rear camera setup, we're likely to see either a triple or quad camera setup, echoing one of the Galaxy Note 20 models, depending on whether Samsung goes for an ultra-premium Galaxy Note 21, or even cut-price Galaxy Note 20 FE there are rumors emerging of a third device in the foldable category that Samsung is working on that could take its place, namely the rollable Galaxy Scroll, the company has even teased a new foldable with a brand new form factor to sit alongside the Galaxy Z Fold and Galaxy Z Flip series Galaxy Note model we see this year could actually be a Galaxy Note 20 FE, offering a more affordable version of last year's flagship, we just want them to be equal, while the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra has a glass back. The standard Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is stuck with a plastic one, which is quite surprising given how much the phone costs so for the Samsung. Galaxy Note 21, we want all models to have a glass back, or use some other premium material such as metal just no plastic, please the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 only has a 60Hz refresh rate, which is low for a premium phone, and while the Note 20 Ultra UPS it to 120Hz, it drops the screen resolution in the process, so you have to choose between a high refresh rate and a high resolution. While the Samsung Galaxy S20 range did the same a number of other phones such as the OnePlus 8 Pro so for the Samsung Galaxy Note 21 range we want all models to feature a 120Hz refresh rate, and for all of them to do it whatever other screen settings you have great as the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is, its camera isn't quite up there with the best in low light situations. With the phone resorting to texture smoothing to compensate for noise this results in less detailed images than recent phones from Apple and Google manage. So we want to see this improved for the Galaxy Note 21 we also wouldn't say. No to more lenses both Galaxy Note 20 models have a triple lens rear camera, while the top end standard is increasingly quad lens both the Galaxy Note 20 and the Note 20 Ultra have 25W fast charging, which isn't bad, but it pales in comparison to the 65W charging on the OnePlus 8T it's also oddly a lot slower than the 45W charging offered by the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, so we want at least a return to 45W with the Samsung Galaxy Note 21 range, this is good news that Samsung has brought back Galaxy Note series to track, the Note 21 Ultra will come with big notch, big screen, S Pen support, and many more, also is going have under camera display which will enhance the camera upgrade, what features would you like to see in the upcoming Galaxy Note 21 Ultra let me see your comment below, and if you are new here please subscribe, like the video, Comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one peace out.